The question is, is water ruining your skin? Here we go. Today might be one of the most important videos we've ever done. And you think he's kidding, but he is not. I don't think I have ever heard him be so worked up about a skincare topic to date, not even fragrance. So I've been thinking about this day and night, and every time I wash my skin, I think about this concept and I just can't seem to let it go. My goal is to convince Dr. Maxfield that my hypothesis is true, and I'm gonna convince all of you in this video. Cure, who we've talked about in the past, they have an incredible LED mask. They reach out to us and they tell us that they're developing a water filter. And I said, water filter? I need this water filter. But I said, if you're gonna develop a water filter, you better make sure that this thing removes calcium carbonate, not just chlorine. So I said, okay, fine we will develop it to remove calcium carbonate from the skin. And ultimately, I believe it was developed for me. There are other water filters out there, and I think some of them are now claiming that they can also remove calcium carbonate. That being said, I haven't tried the other ones. I'm sure that they do what they claim to do. This is the only one that I personally tried, and it's incredible. In addition to being able to remove calcium carbonate as well as chlorine and anything else that's gonna make your water hard and harsh for your skin, they did do studies on this, taking a look at how effective it is, so you can have confidence that this is going to help what you're doing for your skincare routine. And in addition to that, they can help personalize this. So I like this. I'm a big fan of personalization. You can type in your zip code and they will actually be able to tell you the hardness of the water and the composition of the water in your area, which may not matter actually as I'm thinking about it because it's still like, this is like a filter. It's not like they're gonna change the filter for your location, but maybe that's nice to know. You gotta have a little bit more information about your area, your locale. I like that they put a lot of R&D into their products. <laughs> maybe we annoy them a lot, but ultimately I think they, they care a lot about the products they're putting out. So I'm super excited about that. There are other options out there. We'll probably try to get some more so that we can try them out for you. But ultimately, if you think it's affecting your skin, it may be worth investing in something like this because you're doing all the other things right, but maybe your environment is working against you. From the questions and answers you've given me, you're probably spending $100, $200 a month on your skincare routine. And if water is a contributing factor, it might be the easiest thing in the world to help fix that first, and then everything else will fall in line after.